Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, tell me how. Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, let's do it now. Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, you're the one that makes fishing so much fun. Well, I woke up this morning and I headed for my pond. Meet Mr. Pond Boss, yeah, we're gonna chase us some. You've done your homework. You did your due diligence. You figured out how to build a beautiful pond. It's got water in it. Now you're ready to stock some fish. Well, let's talk about the food chain for a minute. It takes about 10 pounds of bait fish to grow a game fish up to a pound. If you think about that, it makes good sense, simply because if you take uh, 10 pounds of bait fish and wring them out, eight pounds of that's water. So it's two pounds of goodies. So you gotta focus in on the food chain. If you're gonna grow largemouth bass, for example, bluegill are the backbone of the food chain. You can stock fingerlings, you can stock larger ones. Your goals are gonna determine the timeline. Your goals are gonna determine the size of the fish that you want. So stock the right forage fish. Stock bluegill, stock fathead minnows. Uh, if your goal is to grow trophy largemouth bass, at some point you're gonna want thread fin shad. Here's the best piece of advice that you're gonna get out of this shot. We're gonna talk about the different species. You gotta learn about all these different kinds of fish. You need to know about what fathead minnows do, what golden shiners do, what bluegill sunfish do, what red ears do. And if you live north of the Mason-Dixon line, you're gonna be thinking about things like uh, pumpkin seeds and maybe even yellow perch to use as a forage fish. So pay real close attention to your forage fish. That's gonna be your food chain. And building the food chain, when those fish are stocked, they're gonna grow up and begin to reproduce. As they start to reproduce, you're gonna have little bitty baby fish. Now listen to this. A little bitty baby fish, when it's first hatched, weighs about 12,000 per pound, and their mouths are not as big as the head of a pin. So one of the things you gotta do is you gotta make sure that the, that the stage is set for their food chain, for the baby, so you'll have higher survival rates of those babies. If you're in the South, you can fertilize. You can also feed. We'll talk about a feeding program at some point, teach you about that. Today, think about the food chain. The food chain needs time to develop. Stock those fish, stock those bait fish. Give them a few days, a few weeks, a few months to grow up and begin to reproduce and establish a population. Then stock your game fish. But here's the key point of this, make a plan. Don't just randomly go out and say, well, the fish truck's coming or I have Noah Hatchery. Make a plan and it's up to you to make that plan. Seek advice, seek counsel, talk to people that know how to do that. And when you, when you pick out the kind of plan you've got, then execute the plan. Stocking fish at the right time is important. The right species selection is important. Learn as much as you can about those fish and you can build a food chain that four or five years down the road, you're gonna grow some fish that are about that big. To raise a big old honking moss back, line breaking tack, tearing up moss back. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, tell me what to do to make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true. 